All right, mic check, mic check. Let me see if uh, I can be heard out there. For those folks that are just tuning in, we're, we're about to get started. <clears throat> you are now behind the scenes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, gosh, I'm so excited. I'm going on here just to make sure I'm going on here now. Let me see if I can get my uh, get my special guest on here. One moment here, one moment. Okay, share a group. There we go. And okay, I'm gonna do a mic check, mic check in just a moment. Make sure that I can be heard. Look, if you're just tuning in right now, do me a favor, do me a favor. Just look right below the video. And I'm pretty confident I'm live now and I'm, I'm excited. This is like one, all these are my episodes, but today I get to have a private, intimate, up close and personal conversation. It's going to be amazing. Okay. Uh, do me a favor, as you're joining on right now, for all of you who are joining on, do me a favor, look right below the video and just let me know you can hear me. Just let me know you can hear me. Okay, okay, I'm doing a check in here, doing a check. Okay. Now, there we go, there we go. Let me see, mic check. Hey, Deborah, thanks for joining. D. Bowden, thanks for joining. Hey, Justin Burns, Justin Burns, are you going to sleep tonight, man? I, I just need to know, Justin Burns, are you going to sleep? We're going to throw down at the Power Networking Conference. It's going to be amazing. And for those of you who haven't connected with Justin Burns, make sure you're there in August. No, I think it's August. I think it's the first weekend in August. He's having just amazing conference. It's for a handful of entrepreneurs who really want to be paid more for what they know than they can do in that digital space. So Justin Burns, if you can hear me, look right below the video, look right below the video and tell me a little about the conference that you have coming up because it's going to be just super incredible. Okay. Uh, for those that can hear me, do me a favor, look right below the video, look right below the video. We're going to get started. We've got a lot to go over this evening. I got an amazing interview I want to share with you. D. Bowden's in the house, said, I can hear you. Thanks a lot. Justin Burns said, I can hear you. Thanks a lot. Deborah says, hey, Shay, looking forward to this episode. I look forward to it every, season, every single evening. Franklin said, we can hear you. Deborah says, we can hear you. Oh, you know what? I didn't, I didn't send a note. That's what they're looking for. Okay, let me hit the publish button now. Okay, I'm hitting publish. Okay, I just published it. Okay, there we go. All right, Kevin Peck is in the house. Look, Kevin, when are we gonna get you on the show, man? You're doing all this wonderful stuff. I gotta have you on the show. Kevin, impeccable Peck, good frat brothers in the house. All right, team no sleep. Justin, I sleep, man, I sleep, but make sure you put down there right now, you make sure you put right below the video what you got going on in when? August, because that conference is going to be amazing. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing cranked up. I'm ready, go ahead, y'all can start up in five, four, Three. Uh oh, they give me the signal. Okay, I'm ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Start it. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, 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 for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. Every morning in Africa, a gazelle wakes up and it knows it must outrun the fastest lion or be killed and eaten. Also, every morning in Africa, a lion wakes up and knows it must outrun the slowest gazelle or it will starve to death. You've heard it before. It doesn't matter whether you're a lion or a gazelle. When the sun comes up, you better be what? You better be running. That's right. That's right. You better be running. Life is about meaning. And meaning is about service. Isn't that the reason why we're all here? Isn't that what we're all searching for? 2013, the Peak Performance Institute was created. 5,000 clients who we've helped turn their idea into a reality, their reality into a business, their business into a movement, impacting 5.7 million lives around the world. Imagine that. Hey, my name is Shay Brown, the Happy Entrepreneur, and welcome to the Happy Entrepreneur Network, the world's largest organization for the well-being of an entrepreneur. And as we always say, our mission at the Happy Entrepreneur Network, our mission is to inspire, empower, and provide resources for the entrepreneur to live a balanced life and execute their vision for the people they were called to serve. And our mantra, you know, I love our belief. Everyone should have a belief statement. Our belief is the results that show up in your life are just as important as the results that show up in your bank account. With that being said, let's get started. Well, it's a great day. We're ready to get started. We're ready to get kicked off with this very, very special app episode. And welcome all of you to the Happy 
Entrepreneur Show, the number one business development and revenue focus late night show in the country all because of you. Now I'm going to get started, do something a little different. I want to get in here because I got a lot of content that I want to cover in a very short amount of time. But first I want to recognize those folks who are joining in. I love to do the check-in. I love to take at least two minutes and recognize all of the entrepreneurs, all of the business owners, all of the speakers, the authors, the coaches, the network marketers, the backbone of this country and of this world, you, the entrepreneur. So as I see you join in, Eric, my brother, Eric Nicholson, I love what you're doing, man. We've got to connect. I love following you on Facebook, man. Your stuff's amazing. Monica Butts Baker, thanks a lot for joining. Tamara is in the house. Thanks a lot. Hey, Unc, Unc's in the house. Lawrence A. Randall, the I is in the house. Uh, Izina Warren Russell's in the house. J.S. Singh is in the house. Charmaine is in the house. Justin's in the house. Kevin Impeccable is in the house. Franklin Morris is in the house. So many Allison Boswell is in the house. Look, I got to get right away. I got to show you guys this video. But first, before I do that, here's what I like to do. You can see me and from what I hear. You can hear me as well, which is really cool, but I can't see you. And, and we want in the Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, it's not about just pushing out information. It's about us sharing collectively as a tribe. It's about us loving on each other. It's about us supporting each other. Here's what I would like for you to do. I'd like for you to take a moment and look right below the video, look right below the video, and go ahead and post my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. Now, why do I always do that? Why do I tell you to post your vision? post what you do to share that with the community because you are a digital note taker. You are a digital note taker. Hey, Cameron, how you doing? Hey, what's going on, Miss Christy Anderson? Um, here's why I asked you to do that because you are a digital note taker, right? And you're writing on this digital board that's out there. And this digital board represents everyone in the community that can see you. Now, these videos, they do go viral, obviously. Yeah, I get it. And I have podcast listeners that are listening right now. We have folks listening to conference calls. Many of you will syndicate this out through your network. That's cool. But look, they can't see you. They can't hear you. And so I know that the reason you got in business is that you have a vision for yourself you have a vision for your loved ones and you have a vision for the people you were called to serve. So I don't want you to hold that vision to yourself. I want you to share it. Now here's what you would do. You would look right below the video and you would, you would type these words. My vision for the people I'm called to serve is, hey, Chris Bron Bronley, thanks for joining. Kathleen Lynch, it is always a pleasure. Don't be a stranger. Look right below the video and put my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to help them transform their life. My vision for the people I'm called to serve, if you're Anthony Abram, is to make sure that you have an image that represents who you are on the inside as well as on the outside. See, you would look right below the video right now and you're gonna put my vision for the people I'm called to serve, Gary, is to help people really explode and get the revenue they want in their business. What I want each of you to do right now, we're gonna pause for just a moment, and I want you to share your vision for what you do with the world. And the reason I want you to put my vision for the people I'm called to serve, because it's much bigger than just you solve problems every day. It's much bigger than you make some money doing this. It's much bigger than the marquee clients that you have. You have a vision, and I happen to believe in the good book. I believe in the Bible, right? And so I believe that Noah, who's in the Bible, by the way, the, a success book, by the way, he had a vision and it didn't come from Noah. It came from God. So God gave him this vision to Noah to push out to other people. So it came through from God through Noah to the people. And just like you right now, you've got these talent. You've got these treasures. You've got these skill set that you have inside of you based on your experience, based on your expertise, based on your training. And I don't want you to hold it to yourself. You have a vision for the people you were called to serve. And that's why you do what you do every day. That's why you get up. So I don't want you to hold that to yourself. I want you to be like, like Monica Baker who's out there that says, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to build your business one word at a time. Um, uh, Keisha Bass put, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to help them explode their influence and automate, I like that, and automate their income through video marketing. You see, someone right now has a goal of finding you. So don't be shy, don't be shy, don't worry, Dr. Pam Marshall. I'm gonna get into the good stuff in just about you know a minute or two, a minute or two, excuse me. But I first, I first had to step back 
and I want you to share what you do. So look right below the video, look right below the video and put my vision for the people I'm called to serve. I love what Anthony Abram, Anthony, I'm in San Antonio, as you know, all the time. We've got to connect. I know you're right there in Austin. You're only an hour and a half away. I love what you're doing on social media. Hey, you know, maybe you can help me be jazzy smazzy on these shows, by the way. But Anthony put my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to help men reflect the change on the inside show up on the outside hashtag the affluent man now it's perfectly okay to put your hashtag down it's perfectly okay to put your website down it's perfectly okay to put how they can connect with you sometimes i get these messages and you might be one of the people that sent me a message and i appreciate every message i get that says shay just hurry up and get right to the good stuff you always let people post stuff you know they're advertising on your show you're not charging them look I appreciate every single one of you who show up. I appreciate all of you who hit that share button. I appreciate all of you who tell another entrepreneur. I appreciate all of you who are already over at Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe. And we have a mission, and our mission is just to inspire, it's just to empower, and it's to provide the resources so that you can really what execute the vision that was given to you. And I know it takes resources and that's why we show up for the Happy Entrepreneur Show. So take a moment right now, if you're out there and you see what someone has did, hit, hit the heart button, hit the like button, let them know that it's okay and you, you show up to do what? Hashtag serve so big. One of the things that we believe in here is we believe in the giver's economy. And the giver's economy says the person that out gives the competition out earns the competition. Let me say it again. The person that out gives the competition out earns the competition. So yes, I'm going to tell you about the interview I had with Dennis Kimbrough. It was amazing. Yes, I'm going to give you my five best ideas that I believe will change your life. Yes, I'm going to show you how you should start your day. I'm going to do that in just a moment. But first, I'd like to recognize you because without you, there is no show. Without you, well, People right now, they have a vision to find you. I'm going to read what Eric Eric put down, because Eric Nicholson, uh, you've got to connect with um, 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 Anthony Abram, by the way. He's, he's amazing, Eric. Um, but he says, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to inspire, motivate, and help bring, them their, bring out their innermost passion to be a productive individual in life. How true is that? Hey, look, I thank every single one of you for what you do. Let's go ahead and get started. I love the kickoff. And, you know, I like to start every episode. No, not every episode, but as many as I can with just this one idea. It's the Champion's Creed. I got to share it, and then I'm going to show you the video right away. As soon as I share this, I'm going to bring up the video, and then I'm going to share this short interview that we had that will change your life. And as we do that, Anisha, who's joining us, we do that, Markeith that's joining, make sure you take a moment, make sure you take a moment, and look right below the video, look right below the video, and I want you to write, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. And I want you to share that with the world, because I want the world to be able to connect with you. I want the world to see what you do in the vision that you have and then we're going to go ahead and get started I'm gonna take just one moment I, I always like to recognize all of you because you're all amazing you're all incredible and if you haven't in a while if you haven't just in a while I wasn't gonna do this but if you haven't in a while if you haven't taken your right hand if you're right-handed take your left hand if you're left-handed and if you haven't just pat yourself on the back right now and just silently acknowledge yourself for the winner that you are for the champion that you are for showing up, for improving your life, for improving your business, for serving other people. It's like, just say, great job, great job, because you, my friend, you're a champion. Um, you're a winner, and you got so many seeds of greatness inside you, and I know they're springing up. I know they're ha happening, and I, I'm really happy and honored that the Happy Entrepreneur Show can just be a part of that journey with you. So let me go ahead and show the video. Hey, Monty Telly, thanks for joining. Hey, Rob Henderson, thanks for joining. Make sure you look below the video now. Make sure you look below the video and make sure you put my vision for the people I'm called to serve is dot, dot, dot. To help them with speaking, to help them with automation, to help them with social media, to help them transform their life, to help them with their mindset. And then Monica Nettles, we're gonna get started. Let me just share the Champion's Creed, then I'm jumping right into it. The Champion's Creed is my favorite. It came from my mentor. He shared it with me, and because of these words that I said for about 13 straight years in a row, I've gotten a little lax lately. <laughs> I gotta get back on it. But for, seriously, about 13 years, I said this every day. And it helped me in good times and it helped me in very challenging times. And here's the Champion's Creed. It's what I believe in here at the Happy Entrepreneur Show. But I, the Champion's Creed says this, I am not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying, and keep trying, 
and keep trying. Why don't you say that with me really slowly? Just read the words with me. Say it out loud if you can. If you're driving or in space, you can't. You just, you just imagine you screaming the words at the top of your lungs right now with that passion, with that energy. It's the Champion's Creed, the Champion's Creed. I love it. Champion's Creed says, I'm not judged by the number of times I fail, but by the number of times I succeed. And the number of times I succeed is in direct proportion to the number of times I can fail and keep trying, and keep trying, and keep trying. Don't you love the and keep trying part? I love the and keep trying, and keep trying, and what? And keep trying. That's what it's all about. Hey, I see you out there, Eric says, my vision for the people I'm called to serve is to help single and married couples win in their relationships. I love that. Do me a favor. Everyone look right below the video. And then I'm going right to Dr. Dennis Kimbrough interview. I've, I got that, and I've got these five points I got to give to you. But, but first, look right below the video. Look right below the video and write these words. You are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. Just matter of fact, this, this, this is not for you. This is for someone else who's watching right now. This is for all the tens of thousands of folks who go back and listen to the podcast, to go back through the digital note board, to send me emails. And I appreciate the emails. I appreciate the Facebook messages. I appreciate the text messages, the DMs on Instagram. It's really bananas, you guys. But I want you to encourage another entrepreneur right now. I want you to reach out right now and look right below the video. This is the only thing I'm going to ask you to do. Look right below the video. Don't do it for me. Do it for them. You put you are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. Just put you are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. You just write right below the video, just like just like Gary Jones did. You put you are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. Now when someone writes those words and you see those words right below, hit the heart button. Hit the, hit the like button. This is just a way of encouraging. People say, Shay, you always spend a few moments encouraging other entrepreneurs. I get it. If that's you and you're like, Shay, I, it gets on my last nerves. I understand. Then you wait two or three minutes before you log on, okay? But I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you, we show up not for ourselves. Yeah, you wanna get better, I get it. But we show up to bless someone else. We show up to be the blessing. We show up to be the givers. We show up to hashtag serve so big. That's the only reason we're here. That's the only reason the show exists. So I want to look right below the video and put you are a champion. Hashtag keep on going. I love it. I love what every one of you are doing. You're just so incredible. All right. Now I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to share with you this lesson that I learned from Dennis Kimbrough. I'm going to share this video. Um, it inspired me and encouraged me. It was five years ago. Um, I, I probably watched this thing two or 300 times. And every time I get a little bit of nugget and another little nugget and another little nugget. And it's just really incredible. So let me, let me go and share with you a short clip. Let me share with you. And then I'm going to share with you the five ideas that I learned from Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. It helped change my life. And I believe it's going to change your life as well. Let's go ahead. Let's go right to it. Right. Let's go to it right now. It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown, and we are here in Atlanta. Big bad ATL. Big bag A and A. Big and big and changing minds. Here, I'll just give you the microphone. No, I'm, no, I'm no, supposed no, to say no, something, no. ladies and gentlemen. I've lost control, and I haven't got a chance to say a word yet. <laughs> but we are here. The folks have been watching. They've been watching you online. They've been watching all weekend. Mm -hmm. What we like for you to do is share. What does it take to be a peak performer in the area of wealth? For Simple, those folks but that not are easy. Number one, dream big dreams. Mm -hmm. As I said today, it's a counter to success. There are no bargains. You must pay the price in advance in full, but it starts with the dream. Number two, what I found out from these individuals, the scores of interviews that I had, they were interdirected. In other words, they weren't so quick to believe well-meaning friends or family members who said, you can't do this, you can't do that. In other words, they walked to a beat of a different drummer. That's why Robert Frost, the old poet, said, two roads diverge in the wood, and I, I took them on, let's travel by. You are unique. So what are you going to do that's different and unique? Number three, readers are leaders. You know, I'm taking the information. I told the group today, man, that the greatest gift that we were given is the ability to change our mind. Prosperity begins in the mind but ends in the purse. And then last but not least, these men and women flat out refuse to fail. Now, I'm not saying that they didn't fail. They actually failed their way to success. So those are the four keys. The average individual in our society gets four ideas a year. Any one of which, if you had the guts, the fortitude to chase your dream, will make you financially independent. So make sure that you see with your mind's eye because your physical lie will lie to you.
Wow. wow, that's very, very, very powerful. Very powerful. powerful. Question. For those people who are raising young youth, or youth and teenagers and got young ones, what would you say for those people who are trying to raise them up in the area of entrepreneurship? Look, like I said, dream big dreams. Don't take no for an answer. You know, um, I, I love this generation now because this generation is so innovative and, and creative. And those are the two traits that you have to have. What is creativity? Creativity is the ability to come up with an idea. Okay, I took a shower this morning before I came up and had the presentation. I got 50 million different ideas in the shower. But you also need innovation. And what is innovation? The ability to execute that idea. And what society needs now. You see, anybody can see down the street. Mm -hmm. All right, I live here in Atlanta. And I walk down Peachtree Street and I can see the trends. Uh, the young kids that are wearing the baggy clothes, they're wearing the untied Timberlands. And everything. See, I can see the trend. But now in today's society, you got to be able to start a trend. Mm -hmm. In other words, anybody can see down the street, but today you got to be able to see around the corner. Well, I tell you what, you you share so much. Last question, you share so much here today. Um, you said the average person only has seventy four to seventy eight years, or twenty nine thousand to thirty thousand days. Uh -huh. Here's here's the question: When a day comes and we all have to transition at some point, mm -hmm. what do you want people to remember, Doctor Dennis Kimbrell, by? Learn how to say I can. Learn how to say I can. Learn how to say I can. Believe in yourself when no one else will. Thank you very much. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, make it a great day, everyone. And we'll make good things happen. We connect again next time. Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, thank you so much. We appreciate it. They're waiting for you for the next three-minute interview. They're waiting on you right now. You rock. Thank you so much. Bye-bye, everyone. You got to go this way. All right. All right. There we go. An interview with Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. Here's what I want you to write right below the video. Thanks a lot for Marcus Bennett for joining. Nancy Alert is joining. Melissa Watson Gray is in the house. Jennifer Harris is in the house. Kiana is in the house. Lawrence Martin is in the house. Lance Williams in the house. Look, we've got, we've got the all-stars and so many more of you that are watching right now. Do me a favor. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and just jot those words down that Dennis Kimbrough said. Dream big dreams. Believe you can when no one else does. Just, 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 just make that one sentence, just that one sentence. I'm gonna share my five best ideas, but I want you to first just to write that one sentence down. Dream big dreams. Believe you can when no one else does. I'm gonna say it again, I'm gonna say it again. Look, 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 this right here I believe is a game changer. It's one of the game changers that will make a huge difference for you and it's made a huge difference for me. So look right below the video, look right below the video and just jot these words down. Dream big dreams, believe you can when no one else does. Now I don't know what your vision is for the people you are called to serve. And, and I really don't know what your vision is for yourself for some of you, it's to, it's to be able to, to live a life of peace and joy and happiness. I don't know what your vision is for your loved ones. For some of you, it's to send your kids to a school of your choice or write a check to pay off a family member's mortgage. Or some of you might pay for health care for someone else. Whatever it is. And I don't know what your vision is for the people you are called to serve. But what I did hear that I do want to share with you in this moment, and if this is your year, and if this is your time, and if this is your moment, you look right below the video, you look right below the video, hey, Sherry Johnson, and you write these words, dream big dreams, believe you can when no one else does. And that is very, very powerful. And there's one thing to believe, and it's another thing to take massive action. You heard him say that we get a lot of ideas every day, but you still have to take massive action. But I want you to start just with that one idea. And I want you to make a commitment, Harvest. I want you to make a commitment, Mimi. I want you to make a commitment that you're going to tell yourself that seven times a day for the next seven days. Seven times a day for the next seven days. Seven times a day for the next seven days. You're going to tell yourself, believe big dreams. I'm sorry, dream big dreams and believe in yourself when no one else can. That's just amazing. That's just a good start. That's a way to kind of get going, Anthony Abrams. That's a way, Mimi, to get going. That's a way, Nancy Alert, to get going even when you can't. Now, one of my favorite quotes is that I'm going to get into the five best ideas and don't worry, it's going to be an episode. We're going to go like that. It's just you and I. We're going to move like that. But, but one of my favorite quotes, 
that, that I love from Dennis Kimbrough. Maybe, maybe I'll write it down and maybe I'll post it in the group. But one of the things that he says, and Anthony Abrams says, yes, I'm going to seven times a day, dream big dreams, believe you can when no one else can. See, that's the key, when no one else can. Here, Lady Constance Hamilton, thank you for sharing. And for those that hit the share button, we appreciate it. I have my sons out there hit the heart button. You guys are just amazing. A Anthony, you're incredible. One of the things that Dennis Kimbrough said, and I've had a chance to talk with him, sit with him, meet with him many, many times. I just shared just that one clip there. But he says this, and this is something that I want you to listen with new ears. Some of you are watching with new eyes. For all of my podcasters, for all the folks right now that are over at happyentrepreneurstribe.com, maybe what I'll do is I'll take this quote, maybe I'll take it and I'll post it. I'll post it over at Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe because it's right out of the wealth choice. It's right out of the wealth choice. But here's what Dennis Kimbrough says. The future never takes care of itself. It is taken care of, shaped, molded, and colored by the present. Here's the point that he made. Our todays are what our yesterdays made them. Our tomorrows must inevitably be a product of our todays. So the future never takes care of itself. We take care of the future. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to post that over at Happy entrepreneurstribe.com. I'm just going to just post just that one idea, just that one quote. Let me move this over to the side because I can't see there. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm going to put that there. And for someone out there, I'm, I'm going to say it one more time. When I post it over at Happy Entrepreneurs Tribe, someone do me a favor because I can't post to myself, by the way, below. Someone do me a favor. Post this right below the video. You have my permission. The post is right below the video. And the reason I want you to do that is I'm going to get into my five best ideas. But I like that. The future never takes care of itself. It is taken care of, shaped, molded, and colored by the present. Our todays are what our yesterdays made them. Powerful. Our tomorrows must inevitably be the product of our todays. What he's saying there is we got to take massive action. What he's saying is it all starts today. What he's saying is so important. Now, even if you heard this before, one of the reasons I love being in this conversation is that when you stay in a conversation around success, around business, around revenue, the magic happens by itself. Now, I'm posting this over at happyentrepreneurstribe.com. That's, that's where I'm posting it. I don't think I can post it below. I'm going to see, but I think I got to see the comments, so I don't think I can do it. But I'm going to say this, and maybe someone can just write this words down. The future never takes care of itself. The future never takes care of itself. The future never takes takes care of itself. You are taking care of the future right now, but the future never takes care of itself. It is taken care of, shaped, molded, and colored by our present. Our todays are what our yesterdays made them. Our tomorrows must inevitably be the product of today's. You know, when I first saw that and heard that, it, I didn't shout. I didn't jump up and down. I wasn't like hallelujah, by the way. Hey, Ann Humphreys, thanks for joining. Hey, Derek Jones, it's always a pleasure, by the way. Um, but, but here's what I noticed. I noticed that what I started focusing on, and you've heard this saying before, you get what you focus on. When I started focusing on my today and owning the day, my tomorrows, yeah, and Everly, we got better, but I didn't have to take a walk down memory lane. I had a conversation just today with a client. We were just on the phone, we were having a conversation, and the person asked me to please take them back in time to a couple of times where I failed as an entrepreneur. And I shared one story and then the person asked me to share another story. And, and then what I told this individual was this, I said, hey, look, I'm not interested in taking a trip down memory lane. What I'm focused on is what I'm doing today to create a better tomorrow because the future never takes care of itself. And it was in that moment, in that moment, when I said the future never takes care of itself, I remember the quote from Dennis Kimbrough because once upon a time I used to memorize these quotes and I used to memorize a quote a day when I was a young, energetic entrepreneur. And, and so I said, oh my gosh, I can't believe I just said that. I can't believe it. And, and the person said, you know what, Shane? The future never takes care of itself. It is taken care of, molded, shaped, molded, and colored by our present. Sakoni Prince is out there. Sakoni Prince puts in a motivational Monday every Monday. He wrote, the future never takes care of itself. You take care of the future. Ann Humphrey, thanks a lot, Ann Humphrey, that's in the house. Look, for everyone that knows that this is your moment, that this is your time, let me, let me give you the top five ideas, but you know that this is your moment. You know that this is your time. You believe that the breakthrough is right there. You're there. You're walking in the breakthrough right now. 
if that's you, as you're listening, as you're watching, and you're participating, I know all of you can't be digital note takers, and I understand that all of you can't make a comment, but you can hit the like button, you can hit the share button. And why do I encourage you that? Because we are a tribe, we work together. Look, 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 look. Let me share something. Let me, let me share something that I was, I was sharing with someone about how to start your day and some things you need to do to start your day. And then I'm gonna get into Dennis Kimbrough. He told me about wealth. He said, told me about believe in yourself when no one else does. You must have the faith in yourself and in God that you will, he will never leave you nor forsake you. And this makes the big difference. It makes the big difference. It really does. Let me let me let me share something. I want to share with you really quickly. And I wasn't going to do it, but I'm Phil Capel. My, my son put this together. And it's, it's so amazing. But the number one way to start your day. Let me let me just share that for all of you who are watching right now. in the morning. This is the 5 a.m. morning routine. Uh, I want to say thank you to my client who sent me this gift. This is like totally amazing. Um, you might want to know what is it, by the way. Let me take this off. This is a one gallon water jug. Check that baby out. One gallon water jug. And why is that? Because we understand that one of the beliefs I have is that the results that show up in your life are just as important as results to show up in your bank account. So I'm gonna talk about some results in your life, like build life. Now, you might be thinking, Shay, I know you got some water jugs. I know you've drank water before. Yeah, I do. I mean, I've got a couple of different water jugs over here. I love each and every one of these. If I went to my cabin, I could probably show you 20 or 30 of those. But what I like about this right here is that we know that water refreshes your brain, it refreshes your body, it refreshes your energy. And think about it, for you to go after your goals, for you to live the life you deserve, it takes energy and it takes effort. Now, it's not about the water bottle. That's not the point I wanna make. I wanna make the point that you need a system. You need a structure and a system. A water bottle is a structure because now I've gotta drink a gallon of water. You wanna know how much, a, you know what a gallon of water looks like? This right here, this is a gallon of water I need to drink every single day. But I also need a structure. So now this has a system involved. You see that there? I don't know if they can see that or not. But when I fill it up, it says 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. I'm actually drinking a certain amount. And then 11 a.m. it says, remember your goal. At 1 p.m. it shows that I'm on target. Shay, what's the point? What are you trying to say to me as you get ready this morning? Look, I'm trying to tell you this. Jot this in your notes. What gets measured? gets managed. That's right. What gets measured gets managed. And it's possible you might be like me or like a number of my clients where you're not measuring or tracking the results you want on a daily basis. We know that consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. Consistency is the key. And having said that, what do most people struggle with? That's right, baby. They struggle with consistency. No longer. I got this one gallon of water. Look, it's time to hit the gym. It's time to do what I do. You, you're a champion. You are the 90 day champion. You are the happy entrepreneur. I'm gonna go ahead and, and get ready. I'm gonna head on over to the gym because I know that nothing happens without action. I can talk about drinking water. I can talk about my health and fitness, but until I go to the gym and do something, guess what? Don't nothing happen. In fact, go ahead and jot this down in your notes. Jot this down in your notes. The universe rewards people who take action differently than those who don't. I want you to take action. I want you to drink water, refresh your brain, refresh your mind, refresh your energy, and refresh your goals. It's time for us to take some action. It's time for us to go after that which we know we deserve. Why? Because you can outperform your potential. You can outperform your potential. I believe that. I'm out. Now, the whole, the whole point of showing you that was what gets measured gets managed. What gets measured gets managed. I see you out there, Latanya Williams. Um, I see you out there, Nikki. Nikki asked me, where do you get the water bottle from? Look, Nikki, you can go right on the Amazon. You can go right on the Amazon and you can get that water bottle. I think the water bottle is like $13. It might be $15. Um, and it's to drink a gallon of water. Um, right now, I don't have the water bottle here with me. I have this big old huge bottle. I don't know if y'all can see this big old huge bottle. I, I buy more water bottles than I should probably buy, by the way. Uh, this is like, I don't know, I think it's 80 ounces of water, by the way. It's a lot. Um, but I'm drinking that uh, throughout this show while we're talking so I can stay hydrated, by the way. Um, but, but one reason I, I want to tell you that what gets measured 
gets managed, what gets measured gets managed is because for some of you, and, and someone do me a favor, do me a favor. Hey, Latanya. Hey, Keisha Bates. Hey, Sonia Jennings. She said the universe rewards those who take action differently than those that don't. Anthony Abrams says you can outperform your potential. That is so true. And says what gets measured gets managed. I was going to ask you all to make a comment and look right below the video and look right below the video. And as you hit the share button, as you hit the share button, you write those words. You write those words that are so powerful and so important, you can outperform your potential. Let me say that again. You jot this down. You can outperform your potential. Let me say it again. You can outperform your potential. So you have potential inside of you that's already naturally there. But here's the question. How do you outperform the potential that you already have? You're not limited just by your potential. You're only limited by how you decide to grow, how you decide to get going. Look, one of my favorite sayings, and I got to get to these five ideas from Dennis Kimbrough because it's not about me, but, but one of these favorite sayings that, that I love to tell myself on a daily basis. And I was having a conversation two days ago. I was in, um, we, were, we, we were in Atlanta. And was having a conversation. The person I was with might even be watching right now is a peer. And, and, and we were talking and they were sharing one of these setbacks that they really had and, and how they were trying to get going. They said, next time, I'm not going to make that mistake. Next time, I'm going to be more careful. Next time, I'm going to, before I launch the software. And you know what I told the person? I said, nah, nah, nah. Don't say I'm not going to be perfect. Don't say I'm going to wait. Don't say I'm going to be careful unless you're doing your taxes, obviously. No, no, no. What I shared with them was just this one idea, Sonia. What I shared with them, and you, Sonia said she's drinking water. Hey, Greta Dawson, it's always a pleasure. What I shared with them is this. You don't have to get it right. You just got to get going. Someone look right below the video. Look right below the video and write those words right now. You don't have to get it right. You just got to get going. Let me say it again. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. Let me say it again. Some of you have to really step your marketing up. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. Some of you do webinars. Some of you speak. Some of you are writing a book. You don't have to get it right. You just have to get going. Some of you, like myself, you're, you're, you're improving in the area of your finances and you're, you're building wealth and you got more apps. I can tell you how many apps I have on my phone. I'm embarrassed to show you. But I downloaded another app just the other day. You know what I told myself? You don't have to get it right. You just got to get going. And the breakthrough will happen. So, so do me a favor. Look, look, look right below the video. And, and, and all my digital note takers, thanks so much, Nikki. I appreciate it. All my digital note takers, go ahead and write. You don't have to get it right. You just, you just have to get going. Now, here's the question. What do you need to get going right now? Maybe you need to get going in your relationship and there's some things you need to do. I feel you. I'm with you. Just get going. Maybe you just have to get going in your business. You, you talk about partnering with other folks. You talk about working closely with other folks. Go ahead and do that. Maybe you just have to get going right now in your automation and your technology. Look, do it. You don't have to get it right, Ann Humphrey, Keisha Bass, Sonya Jennings. You just have to get going. Now, now, now here's the idea that I, that I learned, and I'm going to change gears and come back over to Dennis Kimbrough, but I want you to hear that because someone right now, we're coming up on a very important part of the year, and, and for this to be your year, you're already owning the moment, but for you to own the year, you've got to keep that pedal to the metal. Someone said, Shay, be careful. You're going to burn out. Shay, be careful. I said, look, there will come a time I'll slow down. And I will relax. They will. But today is not that day. Today is not a time to slow down. It's a time to speed up. So I've got the pedal to the metal. I'm full steam ahead and I'm blaring as fast as I possibly can. And if you're out there right now and you're an entrepreneur and, and you're like, you know what, Shay, I got the pedal to the metal. Shay, you know what? This is my moment. You know what, Shay? This is my year. I'm going to give you a special number. Just text me. Look, we got a little we have an accountability group going on and it's just for those folks who make promises and want to be encouraged and want to be inspired. I mean, the Happy Entrepreneur Show is amazing. It's the number one business development and revenue focused late night show. I love it. We have some of the best guests on the show. But at the end of the day, you still got to take action. And one of the things that I've learned is that we'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. Let me say it again. We'll often do more for others than we'll do for ourselves. Let me say it again. We'll often do more for others then we'll do for ourselves. Why, Shay? I don't know. Why, Shay, do people say that? I don't know. Shay, why does that happen? I don't know. But what I do know is it does happen. And if that's you and you're ready, 
Let me give you the special number and just text me. It's my personal cell. Text me. Look, you don't need a credit card. You can be part of the accountability group. Some amazing things are happening over there. Um, it's our sales visionary accountability group. Here's the number. You text this number. The number to text is 202-270-1662. That's my personal cell now, but you're going to text 202-270-1662 and you text the word SHOWTIME. It is showtime. It is time to show up. It is time to step into our greatness. It is time to serve the people. It is time to support our vision and have the resources to support our vision, the resources to develop our vision, and the resources to deliver the vision to the people. It's just show time. It is exactly what it means. You text this number 202 270 1662. Text the word show time, all one word, show time. Include your first name, include your last name, include your best contact number in your email. And for the first 10 people who just text the word show time, no cost, to 202 270 1662, first 20 people, I make it 20 because my phone is busy, busy right now, 20 people, I will go ahead and you'll have a one on one. And we're going to talk about getting the resources you need to execute the vision for the people you will call to serve. So what do you do again? You text the word, that's right, SHOWTIME to 202-270-1662. Again, 202-270-1662. Text your first name so we know who you are. Text your last name. That's very, very important. And text your best contact number because I don't assume number you're texting from is the right number so text the word showtime text the word what showtime because it's what it's showtime i love what my good friend andy harika says it's time to show up for your life yeah if that's you let's do it together you can run fast by yourself but you can run further together we can do that all right let me give you the five best ideas someone do me a favor look 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 right below the video look right below the video just type the word showtime type the word showtime Hashtag serve so big. Just type the word showtime. Hashtag serve so big. So let me give you the, the five best ideas and I'll give you a bonus one that I learned from Dennis Kimbrough from that interview that we played a few minutes ago. And the first one that I learned that some of you put this down. Someone put down number one. Number one, there, there are no direct order, but someone put number one. Just put number one and we'll go at least five ideas. Number one, believe in yourself even when no one else does. Let me say that again. Believe in yourself even when no one else does. Let me say it one more time. Someone who's taking notes on my digital note takers, look right below the video, look right below the video, and just type believe in yourself even when no one else does. Believe in yourself even when no one else does. See, what Dennis Kimbrough said is you must have faith in yourself and in God that he will never leave you or forsake you, right? This makes the difference between what's possible and is not possible. And I want you to think for a moment, as you're listening to me, I want you to reflect. What is it that you need to believe in right now that no one else does? Is it believing in your business? Is it believing in your relationships? Is it believing that you're creating legacy wealth for your family? Is it believing that you're going to finally improve your wellness or your health? One of the things that Dennis Kimbrough said, when I interviewed him just a few minutes ago, is he said what? Believe in yourself even when no one else does. That's number one. So someone put number one down, look right below the video, look right below the video and put number one, believe in yourself when no one else does because it's what? It is show time. It is show time. Number two, and this is very important. And this relates to wealth and you know, when I heard him say this during my interview and we were talking and then I watched him give the presentation and he said it again, it sunk in. And have you ever been somewhere and you just, you just hear one idea and how many ideas do you need to hear in order for you to change your life? Like seriously, if I was asking that question and you and I was one-on-one, -on -one, how many ideas do you need right now to really change your life? Yeah, that's right. One. One good idea implemented is better than a thousand ideas you know right now. And Keisha Bass, thank you. She said, believe in yourself when no one else does. Ruben said, showtime. I see. What's up, George Allen? Let me give you number two then. Let me give you number two. This is number two idea I earned. And not in any particular order, but it's number two. Here it is, number two. 
decision. This, this is what I learned from Dennis Kimbrough. Decision. You must decide that you will not be poor. And this isn't the wealth book. Forget the book that he written. Look, decision. You must decide that you will not be poor. I'm going to say it again. You must decide that you will not be poor. I'm going to say it one more time. Number two. Someone put number two. Decision. You must decide that you will not be what? And until you make the choice to change, you'll just settle for the circumstances around you. Let me say that again. Number two, decision. You must decide that you will not be poor. So I, I want you to make that declaration to yourself right now. Now, maybe you're not poor. I mean, whatever poor is. I mean, poor doesn't mean that, that you, you're sitting on the street. Poor might mean that you don't have the resources right now to execute the vision for the people you were called to serve. Because the vision is much bigger than you. You can't do it by yourself. You need a team. You need resources. You need the right accounting. You need the right social media. You need the right marketing. You need the right health. You need the right relationships. So when Dennis Kimball said decision, that's number two, decision, you must decide that you will not be poor, is not always related to money. Because the opposite of wealth is not poor. This is something that we teach. The opposite of wealth is not poor. For those folks that was with us for nine days on the Black CEO Revenue Champion, one of the things we said during that challenge is the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. So for you to manifest your vision that was given to you by God, to go through you to the people, for you to manifest that vision, you must develop your resources, the resources that you already have. The opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped decisions. So you must make a decision. You must decide that you will not be poor. And until you make that choice to change, you'll settle for the circumstances around you. Here's the, here's the affirmation that I want you to put down. And, and I say the affirmation, the belief statement, because I just want to share it with you. And this is just a mindset. It's a shift. But, you know, it's a subtle thing sometimes that makes a big difference. And again, I don't think you jump up and down and shout, Woo, Shay, this is so good. I don't think you to do that. But I want you to hear me from my heart. I want you to hear me from my heart to your heart. The opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. Someone write that down for me. The opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. So what Dennis Kimbrough said is, this is number two, point number two, decision. You must decide you will not be poor. Until you make the choice to change, you will settle for the circumstances around you. Now, I, now here's what I did. I got the Shea Brown, ding, 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 the Shea Brown remix version going on, right? I got to give you the remix version. I'm part of the Puff Daddy generation, baby. I'm part of the Sean Puff Daddy and Jay-Z generation. We remix things. We black folks. That's just what we do. So here's the remix. The opposite of wealth is, now that you made the decision that you would not be poor, I want you to know that the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. So I want you to make a decision right now. I want you to make a declaration right now. And don't, don't worry, for those that want to look cool, I'm going to get a hold of Anthony Abram, by the way. Anthony, I got you on my list. You're on this long list for people for me to call, Anthony, but I want to have you on the show because you're doing so many amazing things for men. And it relates to women as well in terms of helping them look good and feel good and also present themselves in a way. But here's what I want you to write down right below, Keisha. Hey, T.C. Cooper. Hey, Deborah Crimes. Welcome. Here's what I want you to put down right below. I must, and I'm sorry, don't say must, I will develop my resources. Hashtag visionary. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. Someone look right below the video and put those words down. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. Shay, you said it four or five times. Why? Here's why I said it. Because a sales visionary, they understand that sales, that's for my entrepreneurs, sales for my business owners, sales helps me develop the resources to support my vision, develop my vision, 
and deliver my vision for the people I was called to serve. So when Dennis Kimbrough said decision, you must decide you will not be poor, Shea Brown gave the remix version and said, look, the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. So now you're making a decoration like T.C. Cooper. You're making a decoration like Keisha Bass. You're making a decoration like Dale Sean Haynes. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. I will develop my what? Resources. Make sure y'all can see it. Yeah. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. Why are you doing that? Why is that important, Jay? Why is that important? Because you understand that as a sales visionary, which is so important, is you understand as a sales, I think it's right here. Here it is right here. You understand as a sales, take, take that off for me if y'all can't. Way up there. Y'all, y'all just take that off. You understand as a sales visionary that sales allows me to develop the resources necessary to support my vision, to develop my vision, and to deliver my vision for the people I was called to serve. So when you're sitting back right now, when Dennis Kimbrough said, decision, you must decide not to be poor, one of the things that I know for all of my entrepreneurs out there is that the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. So you made a decoration just like T.C. Cooper, just like Dale, just like April Humphrey just did. I will develop my resources. That was number two. You heard Dennis Kimbrough earlier. Dream big. Believe in yourself even when no one else does. I want to acknowledge uh, Albert who's out there. Albert Watson said, I will develop my resources. Gina Bell is in the house. What's up, Gina Bell? Gina Bell's doing some amazing things. Look, Gina Bell is taking the folks over to South Africa. She's a speaker. She's an author. Y'all have got to connect with Gina Bell. Gina Bell, what's up? Make sure, make sure you tell about your event coming up because you are super incredible, amazing, one bad sister. She really is. Sylvia, thanks a lot for taking notes. So I gave you number one. I gave you number two. What was number one? Believe in yourself even when no one else does directly from Dennis Kimbrough. Number two was what? Decision. You must decide that you will not be poor. Now, number three, I haven't quite mastered. (laughs) I'm mastering these. That's why I'm working. That's why I'm here with you guys, by the way. We're all in this together. As many of you texted me earlier, you said, I will develop my resources. I will develop my resources. I will develop my resources. You made that decoration. You made that decoration. So let me give you number three. Now, don't hate, don't hate, because it's not on me, it's not on me. Don't hate, don't hate. But this resonated with me, and I've been working toward it, but here it is. Number three, make your money grow. Now, this is about money on this one. I came, I came back to money. This is from Dennis Kimbrough, not from me. Make your money grow. This is number three. Make your money grow. Save at least 10% of what you earn and invest it. Be a disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. Make your money grow. I will develop my resources. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary. I see you, Ruben Robinson. I will develop my resources. The opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. I got it, Shay. But now you said make your money grow. Intellectually, I get it. I've even heard that before. But now, Shay, I've got to save at least 10% of what you earn. This is what Dennis Kimbrough said. If you can't save 10%, start where you are. Be a disciplined saver. Now, a little known story. Some of you may know this, some of you don't, but 15 years ago, um, when I was going through my uh, divorce, maybe a little 15 years ago now, and I was struggling and I just didn't have any money. And so I remember going to a bank called Wachovia, right? Because I was going to open up an account, but I had no money. This is interesting. And so one of the things, and I sat there, the lady gave me an idea. And I always say there's nothing more powerful than a good idea whose time has come. She said, Jay, we're going to open up a savings account, a checking account, which you can open up, which is pretty cool. But you open up a checking account, they gave you what? A savings account. And she said, do you need a savings account? I said, no, I don't need a savings account. I don't have any money. I just I mean, I need another checking account, right? And she said, well, here's what I want you to do. I want you, when you open this account up, I want you to make a commitment that you're going to put a dollar a day into your savings. I said, a dollar a day in my savings? That's a waste of my time, man. A dollar a day? I can do that with my... I spend more than that for lunch. So she asked me a very important question. Now, this is all about Dennis Kimbrough. He said, he said be a disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. 
And she said, let me ask you a question. I said, sure. How much money are you putting in your savings account today? Yeah. The answer was zero. And so I made a commitment that day in that moment. I told myself I'm going to transfer a dollar a day over to my savings. And my only goal was to get the $365. Come heck, hell, high water, whatever you want to say. I said, I want to get the $365 so I can quit doing this. 90 days later, you know how much money I had in my account 90 days later? Zero. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. I'm excited. I put some money in there. I took it back out. Put some money in there. I took it back out. This is what Dennis Kimbrough said. Make your money grow. Save at least 10% of what you earn and invest it. Be a disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. Someone write that right below. Be a disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. And so 90 days later, I still had zero in my account. And do you know what I decided to do in that moment? I said, by God, I got to catch up. 90 days later, six months later, guess where I was? Zero. Okay, okay. I know you thought the story was going to end differently. I would think the story would end differently. You know what I should do. I know what I should do. Someone write this right below the notes. Hey, Yolanda Stanley Morgan. Amazing. Thanks for joining, by the way. Someone write this right below the video. This is just a shayism. A shayism. The best intentions do not equal the best results. Now, Dennis Kimbrough says something different, right? He says, make your money grow. You put this right below the video. The best intentions for my note takers out there, the best intentions for all my note takers, for all my successful people out there, for all the folks that are helping people just like me, for all my happy entrepreneurs, all my digital note takers, put this note right now on the digital board. The best intentions do not equal the best results. You must take action because the best intentions don't equal the best results. So I'm six months in. The best intentions do not equal the best results. Hey, hello to you too as well, by the way. Yolanda, make, make sure you tell your husband I said hello, by the way. Um, the best intentions do not equal the best results. And I've got to have y'all on the show, by the way. I keep saying I'm going to reach out to you. I know y'all doing some amazing things. I love following you. Your Sunday service is amazing. I'm glad, I'm glad y'all broadcast that, by the way. But I got to come back. The best intentions do not equal the best results. So, okay, let me, let me, let me come to the story. I'm six months in. The person told me to transfer a dollar a day to my savings account and I would have $365. I'm six months in, I'm still at zero. I put some money in, I took some money out. I put some money in, I put some money, took some money out. How many know what that's like? If that's you, say, Shay, that's me. I've been there, okay? That's me, Shay. You're speaking directly to me. Let me know I'm talking to you, buddy. If you feel me, just say, Shay, I feel you. If you hear me, just say, holla, I hear you, Shay. I love hanging out with the Happy Entrepreneur Tribe. Y'all are all just amazing, incredible entrepreneurs who have big hearts, hearts to give and hearts to serve. That's why I show up. Six months in, guess what? Shay's still batting zero, baby, zero, zero in my savings. The good news is my checking wasn't negative. <laughs> I've been there before, by the way, where I have a negative balance in my checking account. Don't laugh at me, by the way. Maybe you haven't been there and that's not your story. That's okay. I'm just telling you I've been there. But then I finally made that decision. Now, earlier, 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 we talked about you, you must make, you must decide that you will not be poor. So I made a decision. I was going to do a dollar a day and I started doing a dollar a day and then I did two a day. Then one day I did five. The most I ever transferred over at one time was $25. I jumped up and down. I made a decision. I wasn't going out on a Friday night and I put that $25 in my savings, which I can tell you I made $365 in six months. I did not. Only got to half of that, like $162 and some change. But you know what? As disappointed as I was, I wasn't tracking it all year anyway, but that was more money I ever had. And then I started doing that. Shay, what's the point? What's the point, Shay? Make your money grow from Dennis Kimbrough. Yeah. I did end up building my savings back up, but it took discipline. It took action. It took a little bit of time. And so why do I tell you that? Why do I tell you that? Go ahead and jot this down in your notes. Make your money grow. That's number three. Save at least 10% of what you earn and invest it and be a disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. A disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. You will see your money grow. Guarantee it. We started with a premise that we had at the Black CEO Revenue Challenge that the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is what? Underdeveloped resources. And you made a commitment. I didn't make the commitment. You made a commitment that you were going to 
develop your resources. You say, I must develop my resources. I must develop my resources. I must develop my resources. And no one said it was going to be easy. But we said, Yolanda, is that it's possible. What we said, Keisha, is that got the t-shirt. I got you. Albert says she's feeling me. I'm with you, by the way. Anthony says, been there, done that. I feel you. Ruben says, take action. Dale, hey, Dale, Renee Hayes, I didn't know he was in the house. The best intentions do not equal the best results. J.S. Singh, I love it. J.S. is in the house. Y'all got to hook up with J.S. Singh. She's like amazing, by the way. All y'all are amazing, incredible human beings. Anybody's out doing what you're doing right now and just paying it forward with the world, you know what? You, you get an A plus in my book. All right, giving you three ideas. And someone, someone do a recap right, right below when you get a moment. Idea number one was what? Believe in yourself when no one else does. That was from Dennis Kimbrough. That was, that was number one. That was number one. Not my number one idea, but it was number one idea I shared in there. Believe in yourself when no one else does. And then, then we went to number two. That was number two. Uh, what I, I gave you? Number two. Oh, decision. You must decide you will not be poor. You must decide you will not be poor. And then I moved it from there to number three. It was number three. I just gave you number three. Make your money grow. Make your money grow. So that's three. Let me give you number four. And I want you to listen. You know, there's a lot of lessons that I've learned along the way. And I appreciate y'all to hit the heart button. I appreciate y'all to hit the share button. I appreciate every one of you who paid this message for it. Um, but something that my father taught, taught me, his name is Marshall Brown. And Marshall Brown is no longer with us. My father passed away May 2nd, 2017. But one of the things that he said to me many times, and he said it when I was with, with Trevor, and one of the things he said is, he said, you know, we were having a conversation. He's, my dad's been known to philosophize all the time. And he said, you know, it's easy to do and it's easy not to do. Just like what I'm telling you right now. What I'm telling you right now, if my father was here right now, he would step in here and say, it's easy to do and it's easy not to do. If it's hard, make it the first thing that you do. If it's hard, do it first. And so I used to always ask the question, why do the hard thing first? I think it's a very logical question. I think it's a reasonable question at a reasonable time. One thing my father used to say is that doing the hard things in life develops discipline. Doing the hard things in life develops discipline. It's a very simple phrase. Doing the hard things in life develops discipline. So it will take discipline to believe in yourself. It will take discipline to be a saver and investor. It will take discipline to make the decision. It will take discipline to focus on your resources. It will take discipline. Look, here's the formula. It's D plus D equals D. That's, this is the formula. A decision minus discipline equals a disaster. Let me, let me, let me say it again. You make a decision minus discipline equals a disaster. It will not happen. It will fail every single time and you will find yourself in places you don't want to do. But we take that formula and we revise that formula. Follow me, follow me, follow me here, follow me. Don't, don't lose me, don't lose me. We take that formula and we put D plus D equals D. Now someone, someone write this one down, write this one right below the video, put this right below the video. Decisions plus discipline, this comes from my father, equals dominion equals domination. Let me say it again. Decisions. You're making a decision. You decide, I will focus on developing my resources. The opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. Shay, I got, I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you. So I made that decision. A decision plus discipline, doing the things I know I should do even when I don't want to do it, equals dominion. That means you have dominion over life. I don't want to get into that. It's a topic for another time. You have domination. Someone, someone put this right, right below. Dis decisions plus discipline equals dominion. Decisions plus discipline equals what? Dominion. Decisions plus what? Discipline equal domination. And, and the reason I'm telling you that is I want that to be in the back of your mind. You're listening right now. I want you to be hearing my father. It's easy to do. It's easy not to do. If it's hard, do it first. Why? Because doing the hard things in life develops discipline. Decisions plus discipline, Jay, equals dominion, domination. You're listening right now. You're ready to dominate. You're ready to dominate in your health. You're ready to dominate in your relationships. You're ready to dominate 
in your wealth. You're ready to dominate in your marketing. You're ready to dominate in your social media. You're ready to dominate in your book. You're ready to dominate in your speaking. You're ready to dominate with your clients. This is your year. Decisions plus discipline equal. That's right. That's right. And dominion. You write these words right below. I will dominate. Hashtag sales visionary. You got a vision for the people you will call to serve. Just write these words. This is an affirmation for you. It's not for me. And then I'm going to give you number four and five and we're out of here. But jot this down. Don't miss this. I will dominate. Hashtag sales visionary. You make that. Now, already, you said you were going to develop your resources, but I'm taking another step. You're going to develop your resources and then you're going to put I will dominate. Look right below the video. Look right below the video and write I will dominate. Hashtag sales visionary because the sales visionary understands that sales helps you develop the resources necessary to support your vision for the people you were called to serve, to develop your vision for the people you were called to serve, and to deliver your vision for the people you were called to serve. This is your moment. This is your time. You are ready. You are ready. You are ready. You, I, you are trained. You are strong and you are ready. I feel you. I feel you. Let me give you number four. Let me, let me give you number four. But decisions plus discipline equals what? Dominion. Dominate. Danielle White Magum, thanks for joining. Cheryl Diana, is always a pleasure. I will dominate. Hashtag sales vision. I'm, I, I got a vision. God's giving me this vision. It can't sit with me. It can't sit with me. I've got to get this vision out of me and it's bigger than me. I need the resources right now, Shay, and I'm going to develop those resources because you just told me the opposite of wealth is not poor. Hear me, hear me, hear me. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. It's time to manifest your vision. Let me go on number four. I, I, I got sidetracked, by the way. I, but, dom, but I hear you, Ann Humphrey said, I will dominate. When someone says I will dominate, hit the heart button, hit the like button. You can encourage another entrepreneur. We're happy entrepreneurs. We're in this together. Yeah. This is your time. Number four from Dennis Kimbrough was focus on keeping score on what truly matters. Number four, focus. I will dominate, hashtag sales visionary, but focus on keeping score only on what is truly important. The poor keep score with cars, clothes, the middle class, according to Dennis Kimbrough, it's not Shay Brown, it's not Shay Brown, this is Dennis Kimbrough and all of his study. And you got to read the wealth book. I love it. I love it. He says, look, the poor keep score with cars and clothes. The middle class keeps score with degrees and titles. The wealthy keep score on what's in their bank account, baby. <laughs> so focus on keeping scores. You're building wealth on what's important. Focus on keeping score on what's truly important. I'm going to say it again. Someone look right below the video and put focus on keeping score on what's truly important. This is not a beat me up conversation. This is a mindset shift. This is it's outside my comfort zone shape, but it's within my grasp. It's outside my comfort zone shape, but it's within my grasp. If I can reach out and I can just grab it. Yeah. So I got to focus on keeping score on what's truly important. The poor keep score based on cars and clothes. The middle class Keep score based on degrees and title. But the wealthy, the wealthy keep score based on how much is in their bank account. Now, it doesn't mean that you, know, you got to read the book for yourself. I'm giving you the Shea Brown remix version because I met with the guy. I sat with Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. He's bad to the bone. I read his book when my first son was born, Think and Grow Rich, A Black Choice. We came out with, with a wealthy choice. I had to read that. I got the interview. I've sat in lectures with him. I'm telling you and giving you the best of the best of the best ideas I can in this very short condensed time. But I know as you're listening right now, some of you need to develop those resources. Some of you need that. And if that's you, that's you. I want you to text this number. You text this number. It's to my personal sale. I'm meeting with 20 of you. First 20, but text this number so you can get the resources you need to support your vision. Stay in this conversation. Nothing else. You'll be my guest over at our Sales Visionary Accountability Group because accountability is the number one area avoided by most by entrepreneurs today. And yet sales is the number one form of accountability because it's not about the numbers. It's about the people. It's about what did you do with the people, with the vision that you had. So text this number, text this number, at least get all the details. The number is 
202-270-1662. Now, why would you text this number, 202-270-1662? The reason you're sending a text to this number right now, 202-270-1662, and you're texting Showtime. You're texting the word Showtime. You're texting the word Showtime. And you include your first name, that'll be important. You include your last name, that'll be very, very important. Include your best contact number, gotta have that, by the way, so we know who you are. And so you can have the conversation and be a part of the Sales Visionary Accountability Group because we will often do more for others. Yeah. Yeah. Than we'll do for ourselves. I'll say it again. We'll often do more for others than we'll what? Than we'll do for ourselves. Yeah. I want to acknowledge you out there, Ann Humphrey. Thanks for taking such great notes this evening. I really appreciate it. And Keisha and hey, James Cooper's in the house. Thanks a lot, James. James Cooper for joining. And Diane White, thanks for joining, by the way. Just to do a recap, we were going over the four best ideas earlier. You guys got to watch the video um, and the conversation I had with Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. But I want to give you the four ideas and just summarize those. And then we're done. I, I got to give you the last one. But let me just go back and do a recap. I started with the premise that we've been talking about for the last month or so is that the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. And so we start with the very premise that I will develop the resources that I already have inside of me, right? I will develop the resources. The many you wrote earlier, I will develop my resources. 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 If you didn't write those words down, make that affirmation. Do it now. I will develop my resources. Hashtag sales visionary is what you're putting down right below, right? Because you got to develop the resources you got. Yeah. If not, you can't support the vision. God's giving you a vision. It's just sitting with you. He might be giving it to you, right? You got to develop the resource. Noah needed resources. He needed a hammer. He needed a nail. He needed wood. He needed a team to put the boat together. Yeah, if he needed, what's up with you? Yeah. Now, the four that I gave, and someone hopefully taking notes. Number one, he said, believe in yourself even when no one else does. Got it, Shay, got it. You must have faith in yourself and in God that will never leave or forsake you. This is the difference that makes the big difference. So believe in yourself even when no one else does. Number two, I said decision. You must decide that you will not be poor. You must decide you will not be poor. Until you make that choice to change, you'll settle for the circumstances that are around you. Some folks are where they were a year ago. Some folks are where they were two years ago. Some folks have the same amount of money in their bank account they had five years ago. No change. You must decide you will not be poor. Now remember, the opposite of wealth is not poor. The opposite of wealth is underdeveloped resources. And then we went down to number three. Number three was make your money grow told you my story and how long it took me and it didn't happen overnight, but you must save 10% of what you earn and invest it. Here's the point. Make your money grow. Be a disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. Be a different, different, but disciplined saver and a disciplined investor. Got that. And then we moved up to number four. We said, focus on keeping score on what's truly important. But Shay, how do people keep score? This is from Dennis Kimbrough. It's not from me. This is from Dennis Kimbrough. I just gave you my, my, my Shea Brown overlay. I gave you my view of the world. But what he said was, the poor keep score with cars and clothes. The middle class keeps score with titles and degrees. But the wealthy keep score based on their bank account. Now, it doesn't say if you have money in your bank account, you're not wealthy in many other areas. It just says that's how the wealthy keep score. So I want to share it with you. Got it, Shay. I'm with you. I'm feeling you. Can you give me number five, Shay? And then we're out of here. Yeah. This is not a new idea, but I'm going to add the profitability on it. Number four was own your business. Own your business. Own your business. This came from Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. No matter what you do, you are in business for yourself. So create a reputation for excellence. Whether you work for yourself or work for someone else, become the CEO of W-O-U-L-L-C. W-O-U, Inc. Become the CEO. You are the CEO. And, and Shay, that's obvious. I'm feeling you, Shay. Yeah, but I want you to see it from a different perspective. I always said the best intentions do not equal the best result. 
the best intentions do not equal the best result. It's the actions that you take. You don't have to get it right. By golly, I'm going to tell you right now, you just got to get going. And with that being said, those are the five things I learned from Dr. Dennis Kimbrough. I, I want you to know as you're listening that you are amazing. Um, you are incredible. You're one super duper human being. For those folks who want to get the notes and get the toolbox, make sure you text the word revenue. Make sure you text the word revenue. Text the word revenue to 202-999-3515. Again, 202-999-3515. With that being said, by the way, um, you're amazing. You're going to make some, some, some good things happen. Yeah. Are we, any of us perfect? No. None of us are perfect. But here's what I do know is that it's possible. You know, when I was training once upon a time for the Marine Corps Marathon, and I remember when I was going through that, I don't think they have that. You, you, guys, you guys have that up here? I can't remember if you all have that. Here you go. When I was training for the Marine Corps Marathon, and I decided to run the marathon only because Oprah Winfrey had run the marathon. And I said to myself, if Oprah Winfrey can run a marathon, by golly, Shea Brown can run a marathon, right? And Oprah Winfrey ran a marathon. The difference is when Oprah Winfrey ran a marathon, Oprah Winfrey was training for the marathon. Shea Brown, well, Shea Brown wasn't doing all the training that he should be doing, right? Sometimes that happens. So I decided I'm going to run this marathon. I'm going to get out there and I'm going to run this marathon. And so once I get out there, I started running a marathon. And I don't know if they tell you this, but when you're running a marathon, at mile 17, there's a wall. Just like in life, there's a wall of life where you hit something and you cannot go through. Mile 17 is that one. A marathon is 26.2 miles. I hit this wall. I cannot run through the wall wall. I hit the wall at mile 15 because I didn't train. So I had to sit down. I was out of energy. My legs were too heavy. Now to tell you mile 17, the body shouldn't go any further. I was done. I wish I could tell you I got motivated. I jumped up. I said a few power words, listened to a motivational CD or heard some music on YouTube and took off running. But that wasn't the case. Have you ever hit the wall of life? Albert, does that ever happen to you, Reuben? Does that ever happen to you, Aria? We hit the wall of life and, well, you can't go any further. But that happened to me in the marathon. And I walked, yeah, almost nine miles I walked. Finished the marathon in five hours, 40 minutes, and 23 seconds. Now, for some folks, just to finish a marathon is amazing. It was amazing for me. It was incredible, but I was hurting. The wall just crushed me. And sometimes in business, you get a refund from a client that crushes you. You don't get the contract that crushes you. Uh, sometimes a divorce happens, something happens in health. How many of you know about the wall? If you know about the wall, look right below the video and say, I know about the wall. I know about the wall. You look right below the video and just type, I know about the wall. Someone said, yes, I do. Yeah, I know about the wall. If that's you, just put, I know about the wall. The wall of life, the wall of your health, the wall of your relationship, the wall in your finances. I mean, <clears throat> it happens for all of us. It happens for me. And so you ever told yourself you weren't going to do something, but you turned around and did it anyway? Well, I told myself I wasn't running another marathon. I was done. I was finished. That was it. But guess what I did the next year? This is when I was young. Young and full of energy. Oh, I remember those days. I said I was going to run again. Oprah can do it. By golly, Shea Brown can do it. This time, I hired a coach. This time, I was part of a running group. <clears throat> and when I joined the running group, I was in a nine and a half minute mile group. And I never did this before. The marathon was in Miami. We were doing training in Washington, D.C., where I lived every Saturday. I think it was an 18-week training program. And I was in a nine-and-a-half-minute mile group, 15 of us. First day, Dale says, I know about the wall. I'm glad I'm, glad I'm not the only one know about the wall of life, by the way. I raised my hand and said, look, I ran a marathon before, and I hit the wall at mile 15. And I'm going to tell you, one of my biggest fears is hitting that wall. I'd already made up in my mind that the wall was there. Like I could see the wall, I could feel the wall, the pain was still there. It was very visual to me. So the lead guy looked over and said, Shay, we got something. We're gonna give you these six words. <coughs> when we train, we get to the mile 15 or 17, we're gonna say these six words. We're gonna say it all together. We're gonna create synergy together. Now back then I was young and dumb. I said, look, I don't say no words. I don't need no, mo no motivational mumble jumbo. I mean, I got the Walkman right here. You know what I mean? I got a little music in my ear. I just let y'all know that I'm a little nervous about that. Y'all said, what are you nervous about? I told him I was nervous about hitting that god darn wall. And I read that you hit the wall, it's real. He said, no, we're gonna, we're gonna say, Shay, I'm trained, I'm strong, and I'm ready. I said, what? Nah, not me. But I decided to listen. And maybe that's been you in your life sometimes where you look back and you tell yourself, you know what? Shay said earlier, and he shared what Dennis Kimbrough said, and I heard it, but I, I don't take action. It doesn't make a difference. 
Well, I had to show up for the training runs. We ran and we built up to mile 20. We were running a 20 mile run, which means you had to go past mile 17. Now we hit mile 15. I was already nervous and I was looking around and then we started saying a chant. We started saying, Shay, let's say it, let's go, let's go. You lead the way. I said, me? And we all said it together. All six of us, by the way, we all six said it together. And, and at first I was like, huh, I don't know about this. I don't know about this. But one of the chants that we decided to say was, I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. That became the mantra. So I got to run it. Hit mile 15. I started saying it early. I'm trained. They said, I'm trained. I said, I'm strong. They said, I'm strong. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm trained. I'm trained. I'm strong. I'm strong. And I'm ready. And they were singing the cadence right along with me. And then we hit mile 17. And you know what? I picked up the pace. I started saying, I'm trained. Less. I worked hard. Just like you and your business. Just like you and your life. You showed up. You read the books. I said, I'm trained. Then I said, you know what? I'm strong. And they yelled, I'm strong. You're strong right now. You got what it takes. You got it on the inside. You are prepared for this moment. You are prepared for this breakthrough. And then I said, I'm ready. You're ready. I want you to tell yourself, I'm trained. I'm strong. I'm ready. I'm trained. I'm strong. I'm ready. And when you show up tomorrow morning, when you hang up right now and we end this broadcast, I want you to tell yourself, I'm trained, I'm strong, and I'm ready. When you wake up tomorrow morning, send me a note. Send me a note. And put, I'm trained, I'm strong, and I'm ready. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. I was in Miami, by the way. And I finished that marathon. That was a, what they call a PR. Someone right now, you look right below the video because you may be going through it in your business. And I want you to tell yourself, I'm trained. I'm strong. I'm ready. Some of you right now might be hitting the wall of life right now in your health. You've been going to the gym. You're off track. You're on track. You're picking up weight. You're losing weight. Whatever it may be. Tell yourself, I'm trained. I'm ready to go to the gym. I'm strong. I got the energy and I'm ready. Some of you have been working on your business. You've been, you've been putting together your automation tools. You've been, you've been putting together your messaging. You've been putting together your power partners. You've been showing up. Tell yourself, I'm trained, I'm strong, and I'm ready. You look, you look, you look right below the video. Look right below the video, even as you're talking right now, and just write these words. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. I might not be there, but I want you to hear those words. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. This is your moment. This is your time. You will finish the marathon. You will break through the wall. You will break through in life. And you know what? The magic is going to happen. Why? Because I'm trained, Washe. I'm strong, Washe, and I'm ready. Yeah. That's you. And I want you to know that I believe in every single one of you. So with that being said, I want to thank you for joining. I want you to know you're amazing, you're incredible, and you're trained, you're strong, and you're ready. You're trained, you're strong, and you're ready. I'm trained, I'm strong, and I'm ready. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. You, you listening right now, you make it a great day. You, just trained, strong, and ready. You make this your moment. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. But Shay, you understand I'm a little tired. You understand what I'm going through. I'm trained, I'm strong, I'm ready. But, but Shay, but Shay, you don't understand. My website looked the way it's supposed to look. I'm trained, I'm strong, and I'm ready. But Shay, you don't get it. I'm not into technology. I'm trained in technology. I'm strong, and I'm ready. You do that. I'm telling you, the best is yet to come. The best yet to come. The best yet to come. With that being said, my name, by the way, is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. We make some good things happen. We connect again next time. God bless, and I wish you success. See you soon. Hey, Greta, talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. Please go ahead and give a big standing check ovation check, check, for check. the one and the only Shay Brown. And I'm here right now in this moment with none other than the one and only Dr. Willie Jolly. What's up, my friend? It's a privilege and a pleasure and a treat and a treasure to be in your presence. All right, Delator, we're going to get started. You ready, Delator? I'm ready, friend. I'm you ready, Dr. Connect? Ready, you ready. No, none other than Andy Harikas. And, <laughs> and we have someone like a Dr. Sonia, who's a bad sister. All right, now, go ahead with your bad self. <laughs> None other than the Kim Warren Martin.
That's the promise I made to my mom. I only did this message for one person, and that's my mom. This is for you, mom. Love you. My name is Shay Brown, the happy entrepreneur. Make it a great day, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Shay Brown. My check, my check. All I do is win, 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 no matter what. Got money on my mind, I can never get enough. And every time I step up in the field, everybody has to Yes. Yes. And they stay there. Thank you, thank you.